knowledge and conveying meaningful information to other people, making a shared vision, a common sense, might be the biggest problem, the biggest challenge for the 21st century. I know that many of um, our employees think that it's a bit annoying when Lisa Lotte, that um, she's my partner and future navigator, when we communicate because we've been working together for almost more than 10 years and we are now at a telepathic communication vibe in our in, the, in our relationship, which means that I almost always know what it is that she's talking about and she knows what I'm thinking about and it's actually a bit spooky. Um, I read a book called Synchronicity a while ago, which is also about the interconnectedness uh, that quantum physics tells us about. So communication for us is not just talking. It's, it's for sure it's not writing things down. It's for sure not just taking pictures of things. It is to create a common sense. So a sense that we are looking at the same thing and that we are taking almost the same meaningfulness out of it. We do not need to agree. It takes forever to agree and it lowers the content and the value of a meaningful message if we have to agree on every word that has been written down. When you work as a futurist, you travel with your sense before you travel with understanding. I don't mind people understanding things. I think it's very valuable when you're working with uh, engineering and uh, when you're working with uh, medicine and that you have a catastrophe you want to understand so that you have a, a greater chance that it won't ever happen again. But as a futurist, that's not so important because you have to be able to thrust yourself into the unknown and you have to travel with your senses first. So communication for us is more sensing and less understanding, but it's also hugging each other with great passion and love. If somebody has had a really bad day, then you can say that it's actually a measurement of good success that when this person enters the office, that everybody of from everybody in the office actually looks up because you can feel that the energy in the room is going down and that we put together whatever it is that we are doing, we put it aside and then we focus on this one person who has had a, a, a bad experience with maybe a client or presentation or workshop or uh, in a personal life. And then we talk about it, not to assign any blame, but to understand so that we know how to make it better and to assign some sort of action so that it's not a problem anymore. And for me, that's very, very valuable. I, 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 again, back to the start that the next wave of enduring great organizations will be the ones who see what they do and what they stand for and how they operate as their ultimate creation, that it is about the people being in good energy and taking care of each other as a family.